okay we worked on that how we can grab all of the subscription of user and now i'm going to work on that how we can cancel those subscriptions right and we will also work on that how we can resume those subscriptions so at that time we are loading our logged in user and then activate and getting its specific subscription but if you want to get all of the subscription you can call the subscriptions uh, user subscriptions it will load all of the subscription of a user this one is our first subscription and this one is a second subscription and if you are not so familiar with this one you can watch my previous video where i have briefly explained this out okay now i want to cancel the user subscription uh, like i want to cancel this uh, active subscription which is which ends at is null so it means that it's active right so we can cancel this using this uh, name right or you can also set this with multiple parameters so here i'm going to first load this out here i'm going to say that to uh, active uh, active default subscription right subscription i'm giving it a descriptive name here and i'm going to dd this out active subscription just give it a save and refresh the web browser and you can see this it's now loading this default transaction uh, subscription which trial ends at is null so it means that it's active subscription and you can also verify it here that this one is the active subscription okay and sometimes i'm calling this as transactions but it's by mistake so you can always uh, remember that we are working on the subscriptions okay now i want to cancel that to uh, subscription how i can do this okay so if i want to cancel that kind of subscription i need to call this user and then i need to call the subscription method right which subscription i want to cancel right so in that case i'm um, i'm basically calling it here so that's why i'm going to here let's say we have default and then we can call the cancel method something like this here right but i have done this thing in the variable so i'm going to directly call this variable rather than this uh, overall repeating this all of the stuff and here i can say that to uh, subscription can cancelled okay subscription cancelled something and if you want to see the exact syntax from the documentation you can visit here is uh, the cancel subscription tab which is first you need to find that kind of subscription and then you need to call the cancel method so i'm doing the same here right so if i give it a save and i'm going to say that here subscriptions and if um, by the way i'm loading all of the subscription of the user and if you want to load all of the subscription of the user i'm going to create a new route for you so you can load them later on okay subscriptions mm, all subscription something like this and then return them something all subscription right so you can later on pull this from my github repository so it will help you to pull out of the subscription and here i can see this uh, subscription slash cancel method okay now just hit this route and see this what's going on that's subscription slash cancel hit enter and you can see this it's returning there to subscription cancelled and if i go here and visit this out stripe so we'll see this this active will be now marked as uh, cancelled and also trials and at will be set right uh, okay it's reloading it and you can see this it's cancelling on the october 6 because this one is a weekly a weekly subscription right we can see this this one is a weekly and it will be automatically uh, basically it's activated and it will be expired at october 6 right but sometime <clears throat> here we have we are successfully able to uh, cancel this subscription and if you want to check this in your application that is it cancelled so you can go here and turn on this subscriptions and here you can find that uh, specific subscription right if i load all of the subscription 
let's uh, open this into the new tab all of the subscription of uh, user so this one is our trial subscription which is already ended at 3 october but we have worked on this second transaction which trial ends at is set as october 6 10th 6 right 10th month and 6th date so perfect we are successfully able to do this right and sometime this one is still active as 6 october right but current date is you can see this it's a 30 september and it will be expired within the six days so sometime you want to cancel this immediately rather than waiting to this uh, grace period so you can call them as grace period because this subscription is active till this uh, 6 october because user paid this uh, and uh, this till october 6 but sometime you want to immediately cancel those subscription whatever reason you want to block that user due to the violation or something so in this case you can immediately cancel those subscription but make sure i want to teach you another concept which is that how you can resume those subscription so before resuming any of the subscription your subscription should be in the grace period so what is grace period because uh, it, it's something like your date like it's a uh, 30 september and it, it's expiring at uh, 6 october so it should not be the higher date uh, uh, from this ends at if it's uh, october 7 so you will not able to uh, basically resume those subscription it should be in uh, in the grace period and your user will not be charged uh, for this date if you want to if you have cancelled your subscription at uh, three date and you are resuming this right uh, for three days like uh, on until six date right three to six days you want to resume this for three days so your user will not be charged and when the six date will reach and when then user will be charged for the next week right this one is of overall flow and uh, i want to tell you that how you can immediately cancel the subscription i'm not going to do this because at that time i want to check that um, i want to check the resume functionality so here you can check this uh, you can call this method cancel now so it will immediately cancel that kind of subscription so i'll do this in the next video after covering the resume and if you want to check that user is on the grace period so you can check this by typing the user subscription name and then calling on the grace period so it will return that user is uh, in the grace period or not and here you can call this on cancel now and you can generate, uh, generate the invoice this one is where you can cancel in the specific duration like you want to cancel after 10 days you can cancel this out cancel this and you can want to delete that user so that the case you can delete this out and from the next video i'm going to tell you that how you can resume the subscription if you subscription is already cancelled and user is um, and you want to resume this subscription again uh, again for any of the reason so how you can resume that kind of subscription so i'll explain this in the next video and i'll also cover that how you can immediately cancel those kind of subscription so i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye